Okay, so this video will be a blend of both um, blue team and red team training. So what I'm gonna present in this video is beneficial for both of teams, okay? So whether you are testing a network against um, specific exploitation attacks or exploitation vectors or attack vectors, or whether you are monitoring the network in real time, you should be familiar with basic system or Linux system commands, okay? We're gonna explore network commands and system commands in this video. The necessary commands that um, either a pen tester or a security analyst um, should be familiar with, okay? So let me start with network commands, okay? So I'm gonna clear this out. Cool. Okay, so the first thing is if config. Okay, you know, everyone knows this, if config displaying the configuration of the um, adapters you have. So I have either adapter and I have loopback. So in here I have my local IP address. Okay, so basic IP configuration on the machine. Okay. Now, the next command is um, displaying the active network connections. Uh, either in real time or, I mean, just to display the active network connections. If you want to test or see the active real, the active connections that are coming out of the current machine in real time, you may um, uh, use watch command, sstp add attack. So here are the current connections established from my machine, okay? As you can see here, I have from my local address to the remote address over here over the port HTTP. So you see now it goes. I don't know what happened, but this displays active network connections. Actually, yes. So because my uh, the update process has stopped, you see the there is no network connections running live. So. You can use this command to see um, the real-time connections, okay? So if you want to see um, the, without real-time connections, you want to see such display the network connections that was taking place, either established or uh, closed, whatever, you can use netstat, okay? So netstat, everyone is familiar with this command, okay? So you can see multiple uh, connections, but <clears throat> you may want to use additional tag to enhance the experience of this command. So you can use this stat AMTP. Uh, okay, or net stat ANT to display the TCP connections. Okay, so yeah, display this. There is no active TCP connections. Um, if I want to study the UTP connections, I can use net stat and ANU. UDP for UDP connections. Oops, so I think. Oh, okay. So U for UDP and T for TCP connections. So you can use that stat for this. Um, suppose that you want to see the only established connections. You can use LSOF command, sorry, and tag dash i. So here is only the only active connection I have coming out from my machine, which is on port um, UDP, there's a root, and it displays the PID of the process that's initiating the connection. Okay, which is the SSDH client, okay. Uh, yep. So, um, of course, if we want to see, uh, let's say, uh, I want to see the, um, um, the, I want to do lookup, IP address lookup. So I can use the command, which is dig, okay, with the tag minus x. And I can use, for example, um, let's say the, the machine I have over here, one point six eight one. My four.
All right. So here are basic DNS information about this IP address. Okay, this is very handy in case you want um, to look up specific IP address or to see what are the DNS settings or what are the DNS zones, trans zones on this IP address. Okay, uh, you can use uh, another command. Okay, which is um, let me see, just host, and you type the IP address one two five. Yep. Okay, so you can use both host or dick. What I recommend dick to perform DNS lookup. All right. So um, this is for network commands. Okay. Because that I want to see, uh, I want to um, get familiar with the system, basic system commands. Of course, there are multiple and um, bunch of commands that you can see on the internet, but I'm just displaying the uh, comments that you might uh, encounter when you do real tests or real case or sorry real life scenarios okay these comments are very important you should be familiar with these comments when you do either red team or blue team testing you will come across these comments for sure okay so let me switch to linux system comments okay if i want to get information about the id of my user i can see id I can split the active the current active user, the idea of the current active user, and the privilege. So now I'm root over here. Um, I can use who is or who am I. All of you know that, or who is A, which is very detailed um, who am I version, okay, to display the current user and date and time, etc. Okay, so if I want to see the last user who logged into this machine, this is very useful if you if you are doing forensic analysis or looking for evidence. Um, this comment is very useful. Okay, you can use last dash a. Okay, last dash a. Display the last users who logged into this machine. This uh, alongside with the date and time. Okay. So, um, as you can see here, root, 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 and the reboot time, etc. This is very useful if you are doing forensic analysis. Uh, yes, very important um, command is viewing the current processes running in real time. Okay, so you can use PS. Dash EF to be the current running processes on the machine. Okay, so I can see here the the current processes running, and I can see the user, the value of the user, the PID, and the command that's being issued by uh, the process. Okay, this is very useful for forensic analysis. Okay. Suppose I want to see um, the disk usage. Okay, if I want to see the how much from the disk has been used, I can issue the command df. Okay, and that's it. And from here, I can see all the information that has to do with the disk usage. Okay, yep. I mean, this command is important to know. Okay, but I think it's not used too much by um, security professionals or red team or doing red team testing, but you should be familiar with this in case you're doing forensic analysis. Uh, whatever we have, whatever we have. Okay, so if I want to see the list of users on the current system, I can just get the NT pass. They will also display the current users on the system. Okay. So the most important one is root, which is the active user I'm using to log into this machine or to use this, this machine. Uh, I want to see the OS information, of course. I can use cat, etc. 
which is the OS information. Okay. If I see the OS version, instead of cat etc issue, I'm going to issue cat etc uh, release. Oh. Uh, okay, I think this is broke version. Yep, this is the version of the system that I am running. Um, or the kernel version. Okay. Other than that, so you have to view the information about the users, information about the disk usage, information about the network, about the system, the version of the system you're running, the users that are currently or the users that are active on the system. Uh, these are the very basic commands, both network and system commands you should be familiar with, whether you're doing red team or blue team testing. So this video is hybrid for both blue team and red team. Hope you find this helpful, helpful and we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.